Now let's see what are the revenue curves for the monopoly market. In this, we can see that the monopolist is trying to sell his product. Now, if the price is 10, he is able to sell 0 units. But when he reduces the price, he is able to sell 1 unit. When he reduces the price furthermore, he is able to sell 2 units. When he reduces the price less than 9, when the price is 8.5, he is able to sell 3 units. So on and so forth, going until 4.5 where he is able to sell 11 units. Now let's see what is the total revenue that he is making. When he is selling 1 unit at 9.5 rupees, he is making a total revenue of 9.5. When the price is 9, he is able to sell 2 units. So the total revenue that he will make is 2 units of 18 rupees. If he is decreasing his price from 9 to 8.5, he is able to sell 3 units. So the total revenue in this case is 25.5 rupees. At the same time, if the price is decreased furthermore, he is able to sell 4 units. So the total revenue becomes 32. This continues as long as he is decreasing the price the products that he can sell increases because the law of demand applies here. Though he is the single seller in the market, that does not guarantee him that he will be able to sell all his products at whatever price he charges. Let's say there is a shop which sells sarees and it is the only shop in your locality. Now if he is charging uh, let's say 5000 rupees for a saree which costs 1000 rupees. Now it is your option that you might go and purchase it or you might opt to not to buy it and make do with a salwar and kurta. So the option rests with you. It does not mean that a monopolist will always be able to sell his products at whatever price he charges. This may be true if he is selling a necessity. If he is selling salt and he is a single seller in the market you will go and purchase from him or the second option with you is you might stop eating salt if the price is too high in the same way here also the monopolist is not able to sell all his products when the price is too high and gradually as he goes on decreasing the price he is able to sell more and more products in the market because Though he is a monopolist, the right or the option to buy remains with the buyer. So a buyer who can afford will buy, a buyer who cannot afford might not buy. So when the price is decreased, people who couldn't afford suddenly now can afford so they will buy. When the price is furthermore decreased, number of buyers increases. This way, as he goes on decreasing the price, the number of units that he can sell to buyers increases, which is shown in this schedule. Now, what do you think is the average revenue in the first case? In the first case, when the price is 10 rupees, he is selling 0 units. You won't have any revenues, thus you won't have any Average revenue. There is no total revenue. There is no average revenue. 
but when you are selling one unit at nine and a half rupees, your total revenue is nine and a half rupees. Your average revenue will also be nine and a half rupees because your average revenue is total revenue by number of units. Total revenue here is nine and a half. Number of units sold is one, so nine and a half by one is nine and a half. In the second case, total revenue is eighteen. Number of units sold is two, so eighteen by two gives you nine. Likewise, twenty-five point five divided by three gives you eight and a half in the next case. And when you are selling four units, you are making a total revenue of thirty-two rupees. So thirty-two divided by four gives you the average revenue of eight. In this manner, you can find. the average revenue for all the cases let's consider last case the last case you are selling the product for 4 and 1/2 rupees you are selling 11 units so the total revenue that you are making is 49.5 the average revenue that you will make is 11 will be the denominator and 49.5 will be the numerator so 49.5 divided by 11 is 4 1/2 so we can find the average revenue in all cases now let's try to find the marginal revenue again this is same as we've done in perfect competition when the price is 10 no units are sold so there will be no marginal revenue but when the price is reduced to 9 and a half one unit is sold so the marginal revenue would be 9 and a half for that unit when the price is reduced to 9 one more unit can be sold we know that marginal revenue is found out by the formula delta tr upon delta q that is change in total revenue divided by change in the number of units sold so in the second case you are making a total revenue of 18 therefore change in the total revenue is 18 minus 9.5 and change in quantity is 2 minus 1 therefore 8.5 divided by 1 is 8.5 thus you get a marginal revenue of 8 and a half in the second case now let's consider third case tr in the third case is 25.5 therefore change in tr will be 25.5 minus 18 divided by 3 minus 2 this equals 7.5 upon 1 this equals 7.5 thus you get 7 and a half as marginal revenue where the price is 8 and a half let's consider the last case here total revenue is 49.5 so what is the change in the total revenue it has decreased from 50 to 49.5 therefore 49.5 minus 50 divided by 11 minus 10 it is minus 0.5 upon 1 equals minus 0.5 so we have the marginal revenue is minus 0.5